Hello, my lovely students. How are you doing? I hope that you are fine and in a good health. What well, today? Our lesson is about. It's more exciting. This is the title. Now let's start. So in this session, we are going to learn the meaning of hobby. So what is a hobby? What is it? Have you ever heard about this word? Okay. So a hobby is something you like very, very much to do in your free time. Okay? It is something that you like it very much and you can do it in your free time or in your leisure time. Okay? Let's see some examples. So here we have hobbies such as playing online games. Okay? Playing online games. This is a hobby. Let's see another one. Doing crosswords. You know it. It's a game. Doing crosswords. Or taking photographs. There are some people who are objected about taking photographs or cooking especially girls and we have collecting autographs okay collecting something or autographs coins okay or surfing on the net okay surfing on the net Or playing football. It's a hobby. Playing football. And also dancing. There are other examples. So here, just I give you some examples in order to understand the meaning of a hobby. So a hobby is something that you like it very much and you can practice it in your free time. When you don't have anything to do, you can practice it like sports, dancing, cooking, listening to the music, and so on and so forth. All right? Now, please open your student's book at page 38. We are going to study some hobbies that are mentioned in the book. So, look at these pictures. Listen and repeat. So, I'm going to read them. Then, please try to listen to me and repeat after me, okay? Number one, collecting stamps. Can you see stamps? So you know stamps. So collecting stamps. Number two, collecting coins. Repeat please, collecting coins. Very good. Number three, playing computer games. Again, Playing computer games. Very good. Number four, collecting model cars. Repeat again. Collecting model cars. Very good. Number five, skydiving. Again, skydiving. Number six, snowboarding. No boarding. It's really amazing this one. Number seven, playing with train sets. Playing with train sets. And finally, making model planes. Again, making model planes. All right? It's clear, I think. Okay. Now listen and read. Before you listen and read, I have some questions here. First of all, what can you see from this picture? What do you observe? I 
another question where are they these children where are they are they in the park okay and now I will ask you another question what are they doing what are they doing okay so now I am going to read this dialogue and please try to listen and read after me the friends are playing computer games on Sunday afternoon so we have Adam Ben Teza. Now I'm going to read. Adam, have you got any motor racing games? Ben? Yes, I have. Got Crazy Rally. Cool or what? Adam, is it better than racetrack? It's more exciting, but it's more difficult too. Teza, guess what Adam's hobby is? Collecting motor racing cars. Adam, I've got about 60 altogether. They are more interesting than planes. Ben, what's the best car in the world? Adam, well, the fastest is the Ferrari, but the most expensive car is the Bugatti. It's the most beautiful too. Teza, Adam's girl sighted photo of a racing driver. Ben? Anybody famous? Yeah, guess who? Ben? Michael Schimacher. Teza? No, Louis Hamilton. He's the best in the world. So, that's it. Try please to read it again. And please... Try to focus on my pronunciation. So after reading this conversation, what are the friends talking about? Try to answer this question. Okay? Now, in your copy books, part of exercises, try to answer these questions. Number one. Which computer game has been got? Number two. What is Adam's hobby? Number three. How many motor racing cars has he got? Number four. What's the fastest car in the world? And number five. Whose photo has Adam got? Now speak and write. Compare the things in the chart. So in this chart, we have hobbies and also they give you adjectives to use between these hobbies. Sometimes try to use comparatives and sometimes try to use superlatives. Is it okay? For example, number one, they give you the adjective interesting. You have to use this adjective in comparative or superlative between these hobbies so you have collecting coins playing cards playing computer games look at the example i think collecting coins is more interesting than playing cards so here they use what we call comparatives and this one is a long adjective that's why they add more plus adjective so collection coins is more interesting than playing cards so here we are comparing between two hobbies that's why we have to use comparatives but look at the example number two yes but playing computer games is the most interesting hobby of all so here they use superlatives because they are comparing one hobby with the whole hobbies. Okay? So try to do the same thing with the other hobbies. 
For example, number two, they give you the adjective good. And you have singers. Kylie Minogue, Avril Lavigne, and Beyonce. Three, they give you the adjective exciting. And here the hobby is about sports. Motor racing, snowboarding, and skydiving. And lastly, or finally, they give you the adjective difficult. And try, to, uh, try please to compare between these subjects. Art, history, and math. Remember, use comparatives and superlatives. Now, read about a boy with an unusual hobby. So look at this text. Look at the title, Scary Pets. Before you read this text, what do you observe here? What can you see? What about the title, Scary Pets? What does this title mean? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to read it. Hi, my name is Jeff. I'm from Miami in the USA. People often ask me, what's your favorite hobby? I tell them, guess what? I collect snakes and I've got three. They usually say, oh, snakes are disgusting, but they are wrong. Snakes are really interesting, more interesting than dogs or cats, for example. My three snakes live together in my bedroom. They are good friends. The longest is Boa. He's 95 centimeters long. The shortest is Kinky. He's only 15 centimeters long. But the most beautiful is Homer. He's a king snake. He eats two dead mice a week. I often play with them. They are not dangerous. I promise. Okay, so please try to read it again. Now let's answer these questions. Number one. What does Jeff collect? Number two, how many has he got? Number three, how long is the longest? And number four, how long is the shortest? Now let's move into the last step, which is about writing skill. It's really interesting. The topic is write a short paragraph about your hobby. So you have to start with the introduction. Hello, my name is... Uh -huh. Today, I'm going to tell you about my favorite hobby. Then give me the supporting ideas, three or four sentences. And please don't forget about the conclusion. Try to write a conclusion. And as you still remember, the conclusion uh, you can you can write uh, in it just uh, your opinion about the topic or uh, you can have a question so that's it i hope that you enjoyed your time and i wish that you are in a good health please stay home stay safe see you next time and don't forget try to do your homework goodbye